Welcome back. We're going to continue on with our conditional statements and we're going to make them even better and more useful by introducing a little extra piece you can add in here. Basically, I'm going to build off these if and else conditions here. And I'm going to modify them a little bit. Uh, the first one I'm going to modify is I'm going to take the lucky number example. If the number is 7, print out lucky. Else, print out not lucky. You know what? Let's say you have another choice here, though. You want to test for the number 13, which is considered unlucky. Well, I'm going to take this part out for now, and I'm just going to rewrite it like this. I'm going to say, if the number is 7, print out lucky. Else, but I'm going to say else if the number is 13, system out, print line, unlucky, because that's really the unlucky number. And now you may be saying to yourself, well, let's say I just run the program like this. If the user enters 7, it runs this block of code and then jumps down there. Okay, this will be ignored. But let's say the number is 10. If the number is 7, no. So it jumps down here and says else. If the number is 13, no. It doesn't do the code. And it jumps down here. And we're all done. So this is checking for 7 and checking for 13. So what I've done here is, is you just don't have to say else. This really only has two choices. It'll run code when the number is 7 and it'll run code when the number is 13. In addition to this, I can still, if I want, end this with an else. I could say else, system out, print line, nothing special. Oh, bad typing there. So if you imagine here I type the number 5 in. They type 5 in. If the number 7, nope, jumps to here. Else, if the number is 13, nope, jumps down here. Else, well, else is else. Otherwise, you have to do it. Print out, nothing special. So this one here is taking care of one case, second case, and every single other case. You can have as many else ifs if you want. So let's say you have a number you really like, like number equals 2, system out. Print line, I like 2, 2. That's pretty dorky. You can have a whole bunch of else ifs, and you can just do something like that. Okay, so then if it's 7, no. Is it 13? No. Is it 2? Yeah, it is 2. It runs this code, and that's it. Now that it's done one, it doesn't do the else, because it did one. So it jumps down here. So this is what they call an if else if chain. Okay, and you'll use them quite a bit. Hopefully you don't have to do 50 of them in a row. Uh, you'll learn other techniques in programming later on that make it much easier if you see yourself doing that. But you know what? For two, three, four choices, this isn't too bad, right? Not too hard to handle. Let me do an example here with the temperature one. We all know water, right? H2O. 100 and above, steam. Zero to 99, well, let's say 1 to 99, water, 0 and below, it's going to be ice. So what I could do is I could do something like this here. If temperature is bigger than 100, greater 100 there, steam. Else, if the temperature is greater or equal to 1, system dot out, print line, let's just say liquid. Oh, come on. And otherwise, well, there's only one other choice at that point, and that's ice. Look at the logic here. If it's above 100, it's going to run this block of code, and that's it. It's done one. It jumps down there. If it's not above 100, well, we know it's below 100. Sorry, if it's not greater or equal to 100, we know it's below 100. So maybe it's 50, else if the temperature is greater or equal to 1, it's going to be the 50. You know what I like better than this? Let's just put greater than 0 there. Spaces don't matter, by the way. Then it's going to be liquid. It'll do this line, and it's done. It jumps down there. 
Otherwise, well, if it wasn't this and it wasn't that, well, you know it must be zero or below. We're going to print out the ice. So these little else if chains are sort of nice when you have bracketed values and you want a few separate things to happen. Okay, they're also good for other conditions, which you'll see in our practice problems will throw at you. Uh, what else can we tell you here? That's sort of the basics on the if and else's and else's. We're going to give you a couple examples of this, you know, to practice out on your own and the solutions, and you can see how they work. But not too bad. Thanks for watching. Uh, go practice a couple.